Hello friends, my name is Kumar and welcome back to my channel Kumar Programming. Today we are going to learn about Hosting and Temporal Dead Zone TDZ. This is a very basic but very very important questions. Mostly it's being asked by the interviewer and a lot of people are getting confused in Hosting and Temporal Dead Zone. So today we will learn about Hosting and Temporal Dead Zone in detail and we will try to understand with the practical demonstration. Now let's first understand what is hosting. So interviewer may ask like explain hosting in JavaScript. Be remember that this is not hosting. This is hosting. There is an extra I over here. So let's see what hosting is. Okay. Hosting in JavaScript is a behavior or we can say as a default behavior where variable and function declaration are moved to the top of their containing scope during the compilation phase. This means that you can use a variable or call a function even before it's declared in the code okay now let's understand with the code snippet here we all know that javascript is a interpreted language it execute interpreted means it execute line by line but here if you see i have taken a variable over here x and i have assigned a value 5 however i have not declared the variable over here okay and right after that i am using this variable over here then after that I am declaring this variable x right but still this is a valid code in javascript why once javascript compiler is compiling the code at that time it moves this declaration to the top automatically okay so in the compiled code the declaration always goes to the top and then after that execution get started and that is happening because of hosting so here variable and function declaration are moved to the top of their containing scope now let's see with the practical demonstration as well in our previous video we have learned about design patterns factory design pattern observer design pattern and singleton design pattern now let me create inside the javascript folder another folder as a basic because this uh, questions belong to the basic category and here i'll make another file over here inside that uh, hosting.js and i'll give the reference of this hosting.js in our index file i'll make another entry of it and i'll comment the design pattern and here i will use basic hosting.js right let's go to the hosting.js file here i'm going to use the same code which i have used in the code snippet now here see i have assigned a value inside the variable x and then after that i'm trying to use this value okay and after that i'm declaring this variable okay i'll execute this and i'll show you that we are getting a valid output as a 5 because this is completely valid in javascript because of hosting okay now let me run this inspect here and here you can see we are getting output as a 5 why because of hosting hosting move this declaration at top of the code right and once java interpreter execute that code so first it declare the variable and then assign it and then we are using it that is known as a variable hosting now we will see for the function hosting now if you see here this is a here we are using the variable hosting now we are going to use the function hosting mainly hosting is useful in case of function we can write our function anywhere and then after that we can utilize it at anywhere in our code okay within the scope so specifically in this example if you see here we are calling our function first and then after that we are declaring our function okay now let's flip to the visual studio here i'll use the same code which i have used in the code snippet here you can see i'm using say hello functions before its declaration okay and that is because of hosting normally we have to declare this function first and then after that we can utilize it but due to hosting we can execute the function and we can declare the function after its execution okay so now if you see here i can clearly see the output as a hello however we have some limitation over here with the variable hosting as well as function hosting both in case of variable hosting it's valid only for var keyword it's not valid for let and const okay so now let's see here if i put let and save it it will give an error uncaught reference error can't access x before its initialization okay if we are trying to access let and const variable before its declaration then we will get a uncaught reference error let's see the example for const as well so here we are using const we have to assign the variable as well so here i'll assign value as a 4 okay 
now still you can see uncaught reference error can't access x before its initialization if we move this line up then we can see the output as 4 okay so limitation is this hosting work for only where type of variables it doesn't work for constant lit okay and in function also we have a limitation this works for only normal function it won't work for fat arrow functions like if i call a function arrow function and here if i give as a where arrow function equal to skip arrow and here i'll put console.log arrow function and if you will save it see here it's showing error uncaught type error arrow function is not a function okay but if we call after this our declaration then it will work okay now here you can see the output as a arrow function so hosting work for only where and normal functions however and it won't work for let and const keyword in the variable hosting and it won't work for the arrow functions or, or lambda functions in javascript okay i hope the things are being clear here now here one more important thing is temporal dead zone most of the time interviewer is asking about temporal dead zone and people are getting confused now let's see what is temporal dead zone and how it is being related with our hosting so let's see first what is the temporal dead zone so basically in javascript temporal dead zone refer the time between entering the scope where a variable is declared and its actual declaration okay during this period accessing the variable result in a reference error and this occur with variable declared using let and const before they are formally declared in the code what does it mean now let's understand here with the code snippet if you see here i am trying to access a variable my where which is being declared after accessing it okay so here we will give a reference error just now we have discussed this hosting doesn't work for let and const and this temporal dead zone comes into the picture in case of let and const keyword only so here i have taken a variable let my where and assigned a value 42 and before that i am trying to access this my where variable so here the time between entering the scope so scope gets started from where we are going to access it so scope gets started from from here and actually we are declaring this variable over here so time between access and declaration is known as temporal dead zone okay and if you try to access if this variable inside the temporal dead zone always we will get a reference error okay now let's see in the visual studio now if you see let me take another here i'll put is a temporal dead zone okay and here i'll try to access a variable as a y and i'll put this let y equal to 5 okay so here if you see i'm trying to access a variable y which is not declared it and here i'm declaring this variable and assigning a value 5 so the time so the time between accessing and assigning the actual value is known as a temporal dead zone and inside the temporal dead zone we won't be able to access this y value always we will give a reference error okay now if you see let me run this so here see uncaught reference error can't access y before initialization so this is known as a temporal dead zone however this is not a good practice always we have to declare our variable at the top and then after that we have to utilize our variables that is the good practice that we have to use so friends i hope that you understood about what is hosting and what is temporal dead zone and what is the limitation we have for both of our variable hosting and function hosting so friends still you are having any doubts you can write me in the comment and definitely i'll get back to you for your queries as soon as possible and friends if you have learned from this video please don't go without subscribing my channel and press the bell icon so you can get the notification of all of my upcoming videos so i'll see you in my next video till then take care and keep learning